Ring. Best not fall off your words. See you in Yorick. Faster, Eivor! Drive like Sleipner's hoops! Your hot. Having trouble keeping up. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yaw? Shh. Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. Me, if I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Well, things are better now, are they not? Ever since Alden. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Risha answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. 
To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The greatest snake in Northumbria that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we fortify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it. And I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens. Hate me. Be my eyes. Things you have better. Just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this! Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains! <laughs> Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Ulfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halfdan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Halfdan himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. I feel a bit dry over Eivor, here! Avon, join me for a drink. <clears throat> you 
You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes. We do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhesia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Part of it should be waiting at Stenway.
Where's after and y'all? Will he be here? Eivor, hey, good to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Afton doesn't know our plan, but he'll hear the aftermath soon enough. I have faith in it. Part of its plan had better be sound.
spot in its army. Tabor, over here. On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days, as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every carpel, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. came in great numbers. They came to fight. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you, too, will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken!
Open for the coward King Rishi. Sweet taste of victory! Marisia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Marisia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow.
Lucia! There! He's fleeing to the north! Faithful counsel, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishia. Soon, you will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness, a, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Moira, is Hafton about? Eivor, welcome! Hafton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. Hafton is not here. Where is he?
Think you can swell with the best? Ah, a thirsty foe? If you suck it back faster than me, you are the victor. Your silver? Let's see how much you'll risk. All in! Scout! Man your horn! Where is she? I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. The fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Oh. Long ago, we stormed this sea of wagons under Winter's Black. You have stood at my side for many long years. Proudly, I found the balm of all torments and the soothing liquid of chaos. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. must come soon I'll save some for later let's make a king of you to Eivor and the Raven clan of Mercia 
our newest ally in blood and glory. Yeah. To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old friend. End of our road. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my Jarl. So I will let you win. One last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace.
I hope we were right about him. me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this, this one... Ranji discarded it! It was not rubbish, I intended to... Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you sit in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun. You may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sale with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago. I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return? Exactly. Yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth, 
Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 Selthoths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to play pranks, Holger? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl. If I may, I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your Jarl, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure. Chaos will reign. Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself? My judgment stands. Thirty times the sale cost value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. Good day, my love. See good. Leave me be, if you wish it. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good.
I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. See me, this will get messy. I wonder how Hafton fares, now that he sits on the throne. Hmm. Myra. Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia and sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Bayonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moria. Pitteringa is in the east. Just follow the road to Scarborough.
Sunin, guide me. You, big and tall. What's your name? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan. Come here. Come closer. Do you like to drink? As I like breathing. And do you like to flight? I do. Well, listen. Here, these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking. They will only respect you for how much you're drinking. If you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, I will shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. I will buy you a round with my winnings. How is that? Ha! I like this one! Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. For luck. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant! 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 Yes! Have another drink. Yes, yes! Here's the next one. You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a Dane. Well, you're thick scald and loathsome, and lagging a brain. You're brilliant! You're the smartest person I've ever met. You hold your own. Let's have another! I'm a champion, a winner, I'll claim the top prize. <laughs> that was the most incredible flighting I've heard in all my years. You are a wonder. I would say the same of you, friend. Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all of England! So he says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear... So he says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear I cannot keep him around. No glory, no hope. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a word. You kept this from me. It was no secret. Up and you. Did he not... Leave me! I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now, get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Peonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Eivor. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. Ja, det är ett 
Steiner besser auf Platz. Rabbit, I call on you, nay, demand of you. Send me a home gang champ. I, I've been ready. I am ready. Fists up. Come, bloodbath. Yeah. Yield. Uh, and what did Loki Rabbit promise you, champion? Wealth? Fame? Honor? The Rabbit said nothing. A lesson you should learn. Where are you off to, Loki? Champion returns. I have no fight left in me, friend. But where is Loki Rabbit? The creature led me to treasure. Perhaps that rabbit was Loki after all. Of course he was. Go, my eyes. There's Bjornsson, guarding the hammer. needs his hammer. can't sell me gold fish. Where's that husband of yours? Oh, fishing again.
the lighthouse. Afton awaits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Halfton. Remember that next time. <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was. As fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us. And he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are. Still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. How he drinks at our father's side. Awaiting the war at the end of days. Bailton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! A dog always forgives. But he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see. And let it burn. <laughs> 